Patty Walden. Thanks so much for joining us for another edition of FaceTime with Patty Walden. I'm here today with Dr. Melanie Hill with the Behavioral Management Group. Dr. Hill, welcome and so glad to have you today. Tell us a little bit about your group and exactly what it is that you do. Absolutely. We are a mental health practice, a private practice located in Grenade County, Belleville, Georgia. And we're comprised of licensed mental health professionals. Um, we have counselors, social workers, psychologists, and psychiatrists as part of our team. Um, our specialty really is working with adolescents and families um, as it relates to mental health concerns. And my other passion really is educating our community about mental health needs. Um, one of the things that I, that's really important to me is to kind of demystify the whole taboo of mental health and really help educating people on what it means that if, that if you should seek mental health services is not a situation that you're crazy or that something is wrong with you, but most of us at some point in time need additional support. So as I stated before, we definitely work with adolescents and families. We, um, For adolescents, we often do testing services. So for instance, if your child is having a behavioral problem in school, and let's say for instance that you're not quite sure why that happened, <laughs> it could be related to learning challenges like a learning disability or could be related to environmental influences. So part of our assessment is to really capture what's really going on with the child. And then our also our emphasis is really working with the family. Um, it's important to incorporate the participation of our parents and get them directly involved in the treatment of, of their child. So for us, it's really a holistic approach. It's working with the schools. It's, help, it's, co it's connecting the families with other resources within the community. Mm -hmm. um, and so it really is looking at kind of what are the specific needs of the child and or family and really being able to identify an appropriate treatment plan that addresses their needs. I appreciate one of the key things that you said today was family. Mm -hmm. Tell us, uh, because specifically with the uh, AMBCC, uh, it, it's really about family and it's really about power in numbers. So tell us how your role in dealing with families fits into the AMBCC family. Okay. Well, as we, as you know, the AMBCC really adheres to believe that um, in order to have economic stability, we must have healthy communities and families. And so that's my that's my role within the chamber is really um, developing programming and providing uh, programs and events that really speak to the needs of families. Mm -hmm. um, we offer family education programs, particularly through our family preservation initiative mm -hmm. um, that's offered through the Atlanta Black Chamber of Commerce. Um, that particular initiative is designed to do programming and to um, build collaborative partnerships with other entities that are also centered upon family preservation. And so I feel like my background in mental health, and particularly understanding black families, particularly families in general, but with a specific emphasis on black families, I feel it, it provides a nice complement to really supporting the initiatives of the chamber um, because we also recognize that when I'm working with families, many of their needs are economically based. Um, when you're trying to um, help your child, but you don't have the economic resources to help your child. So it's important for us to be able to identify what are their economic needs, which is where, how I can bring in the chamber a lot of times, as well as looking at their other needs as well. Thank you. Well, it's certainly power in what you said today, and we know with the chamber there's power in numbers. So we thank you so very much for joining us and uh, join us next time for more information with FaceTime with Patty Walden. Thank you so very much.